Yeah. I don't think it is. I think um, it's what's been going on for you for many, 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 many years. Um, I, I don't know how you can fix it. I don't see how you can fix it. Um, obviously, I, I've never been a part of it, so I don't know all the ins and outs about it. I don't know all the rules and regulations about it. Um, but I do know what, what five-star athletes bring to a campus, both and basketball and football. I know, um, I know how much these college coaches get paid. Um, these, um, I know how much uh, you know these colleges are, are, are gaining off these kids. I've always like heard the narrative like they get a free education, uh, but you guys are not bringing me on campus to get an education. You guys are bringing me on it to help you get to a Final Four or to a national championship. Kids getting paid is not, I mean, that's not new. It's nothing new under the sun. I mean, we all, you guys seen Blue Chips? <laughs> it's a real movie. It's a real movie, seriously, it's a real movie. NCAA is, is, is I mean, it's, it's correct. We know that. I'm sorry. It's going to make headlines, but it's correct. Shannon, what's your reaction? Uh, I agree with LeBron. And also what you didn't hear, Skip, he said, they're asking what would it have taken for a college to get you to come there. He said, if a college wanted me to set one foot on college campus and not go to the NBA, me and my mom was poor. Well, we wouldn't have been poor for long. Yep. That's for sure. Skip, here's the thing. There's nothing that's changed with college. We're going to be up in arms, and then it'll be business as usual. Until these athletes are not compensated fairly for what mm -hmm. they do. Because here, if we sign a one-year college, you get a one-year agreement. If the college coach feels that you're not living up to your end of the deal, you're gone. Okay. What about that jersey sale, Skip? What about that hanging up in the bookstore? Yeah. That's what I want to. Can I, can I get a piece of that? Now, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing on the field. But you may, but you also monetizing my likeness. So this is all outside of the field. I look up in the stands and I see 100,000. I see 10,000 jerseys that they're selling for 100,000. I don't get none of that. Yeah. No, 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 that's not going to work, Skip. That's not going to work. Mm. And as long as the NCAA hide behind that Amendment 13 about this servitude that they ain't got to pay nobody, yep. they're going to have this problem. Guys are going to get it. Until you allow these guys to say, you know what, if you're 18, if you want to go to the NBA or you want to go to the NBA or, or NFL, go ahead. They're going to find a way to get some money until they can go make mm -hmm. real money. So you're like, well, what's the thought? I don't care. Mm. It's more because a lot of these guys, Skip, they come from situations that's not favorable. They don't have the best of situations. And although they might get to eat good on a daily basis, they might get to get to stay in a dorm room yep. that's nice and cozy. Mom, back home, or grandma, brother and sister not living like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get something. Somebody's going to give me something so I can send back home to mama. Yeah. Because I know if I had, well, my son would be in a different situation given my circumstances. Yeah. But, yeah, they're going to have to give me a little something, Skip. Mm. And they got it. So. I always tell you that I always appreciate LeBron speaking out on social racial issues because he usually is is right on point in my view. So I open my ears when he speaks. Mm -hmm. I think he's a little wrong headed on this issue because to call the NCAA corrupt is blaming the wrong league because the problem is caused by LeBron's league because it's not an NCAA rule one and done. It's the NBA is saying, no, we won't take you for one year out of high but school. But I think he's saying the, uh, uh, the NCAA is corrupt because they won't play, pay. They okay. still can adequately compensate the players for some of their work. I'm not saying everybody should make okay, the same thing. But, but it's, it, it could be, like he said, that there's no fix. There, there's one clear fix for the five-star athletes here right now. And LeBron could help push it, f forge right. it through. Right. Because... The, the problem is that, that the NBA has two partners in crime here, so to speak, the owners and the players' union, right. and they are conspiring to say, no, you have to go play in college for one year. And college is saying, well, we're not going to pay you because we're student athletes. We're amateurs, <laughs> okay? So don't don't point the finger at the NCAA. LeBron could, could forge change inside his own league by saying, hey, this is wrong. Let's do away with it, owners. I think I think Michelle Roberts has spoken to that that next yep. time around. 
they're probably going to do away with it. Okay. Because the, the NBA skip, they want another year, another year to evaluate you. Yeah, they saw you a little bit junior, senior year, high school. They would like the third year, your freshman year of college, so we can further evaluate mm -hmm. you or further tear you down. Like, no. LeBron has done a great deal, Skip, because he's like, if you look at it, he's trying to get the players. He's like, okay, look, big discrepancy. The middle guy is making a lot more money now. I believe at the end, when this all said and done, this new agreement, yep. that one and done is going to be over with. Okay, they're gonna, good. They're, they're going to be allowed to come. And, hey, look, Mark Cuban, do your homework. If you draft the guy and he doesn't pan out, you get a better scouting department. A player, if you go and you don't, that's you. You should have made better decisions. But I'm not going to look. Nobody's at fault here. The guy feels he can do it. Let him try, Skip. Mm -hmm. Let him try. Okay, but I don't want to see LeBron yeah. condemn the NCAA for being corrupt when there's a double-edged sword of corruption there because, to his point, he wants the five-star athletes compensated. Right. Well, they're being compensated by coaches who are doing the right thing for the wrong reason. They're they're trying to pay them. Yes. Again, it's against the rules, Correct. but they're trying. And and allegedly, according to the wiretap, Sean Miller offered one hundred thousand dollars to DeAndre Ayton. That's a bargain. Okay, a bargain. He's worth five million dollars. I'm just throwing a number out there, but I, I'm pretty sure he's worth five million. Well, Skip, two University things can be true: the NCAA can be corrupt, and the NBA can can be conspiring to keep well, these guys out. Okay. So two things are, are working or at play here, and they're both true because the guys at Alabama, Skip, at Alabama, they see Nick Saban. Now Alabama, they keep trying to add these amenities. They put a barbershop in there. They put all these other things like, look, guys, come here. You get free haircuts, all that. Mm -hmm. Nah, I want no free haircut. Mm -hmm. I can go home and get my haircut. Give me some money. Okay. But if you, if, if you eliminate one and done, or let's do this. What if you eliminate three and done in college football? Oh, yeah. Would you not eliminate a good portion of the quote unquote corruption? Yeah. Because once the five stars all go to pro football or pro basketball, the two stars, the three stars, are they going to be able to command as much money hey, to go play? Yeah, the, the two and three stars, they're going to be wanting to get played. Like, hey, you ain't getting the five star. You can oh, compensate me for oh, coming okay. here. Well, maybe. But again, to me, I can't completely condemn the coaches for breaking what I consider bad rules. Well, I'm glad. They're my, bad rules. I'm glad my brother was in the NFL because my pocket had the monk joy. Touchdowns, 100 yeah. yard game, 200 yard game. Yeah. Yeah. I had a Z2 and a Mercedes. Oh, thanks to your brother. Did you pay him back? <laughs> huh? No. I did. How? I did. I gave him, cut him a check. My first big signing bonus. You did? Cut him a check. Quarter of a meal. Quarter of a meal for quarter of a meal. For cars and clothes? Cars and clothes. What all he gave me. Really? Everything. Yep. Wow. Good for you. Yeah. And where was he? Was he out? He retired. Yeah, he Yeah. Retired. Okay. Cut him a check. <laughs> Ask him. Well, that was big of little brother. Yeah. Yeah. But I ain't want nothing. Hey. Yeah. I just know I wanted what he had. He had a Ferrari, so he got me a Ferrari. Huh. He bought me a Mercedes. Bought me two. As a matter of fact, bought me three Mercedes. And three he bought Mercedes? me a, and he bought me a three hundred Z. So I figured the least I could do is oh. pay him back. Pay him back. Pay him back. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Is LeBron close to passing Jordan as the goat? We'll discuss that next. Hmm.